time reporting view allows you to conveniently enter daily time values for activities. Rows in the time reporting table can represent combinations of one to three levels of reference. For example, activity for a project connected to a client. Each row is assigned to a person. As a manager, you can view and edit other people's data. As a user, you can add new rows and view or edit data for yourself. Data is stored in a board which comes as part of the template workspace with the app. We don't store any data outside of monday.com. As part of the workspace, you also get example clients, projects and activities boards with constraints on which projects can be selected for clients and which activities are available per project. These can be customized by you to reflect your needed level 1 to 3. These constraints are used when adding new rows in the time reporting view. Entering times can be done in either week or month view. You can change the status of a row, for example mark it as approved, or delete the whole row. To start a new week or month, copy definitions of rows from the previous period. The fact that data is kept in monday.com board means that you can visualize and process it using standard monday.com tools like workload view, pivot board or charts. Time reporting provides complete, integrated and secure solution out of the box. The structure of the table is intentionally designed to utilize Monday's own features to the fullest, as well as making it easy to integrate the timesheets with invoicing or payroll services.